Hello and welcome to the Ghost Town Chronicles. Today we continue our exploration across the United States. Let's discover 10 more abandoned military bases of California, their history and the secrets they are hiding. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to help us continue making these series. Number 1. Fort MacArthur, San Pedro. Named after Lieutenant General Arthur MacArthur, the father of General Douglas MacArthur, the fort was established in the early 1900s as part of a strategic plan to defend the Los Angeles Harbor and the Southern California coastline. Fort MacArthur was equipped with powerful artillery guns, designed to protect the region from potential naval attacks. During World War I and World War II, the fort served as an important coastal defense site. It housed large cannons and mortars capable of reaching enemy ships at sea, although the guns were never fired in combat. In addition to its coastal defense role, Fort MacArthur also served as a training and induction center for soldiers during World War II. The fort's importance was highlighted by its role in protecting the vital shipping lanes and port facilities of the Los Angeles area. As with many coastal defense installations, the relevance of Fort MacArthur diminished in the post-World War II era, largely due to advances in military technology, including air power and missiles, which made traditional coastal artillery obsolete. The fort was officially decommissioned in the 1970s. Today, parts of Fort MacArthur have been repurposed for public and military use. The site includes the Fort MacArthur Museum, which is dedicated to preserving the history of the fort and the role of the U.S. Army's coastal defense system. The museum, located in the historic Battery Osgood Farley structure, offers exhibits and educational programs about the fort's history and the broader context of coastal defense in the United States. The surrounding area also offers recreational spaces including parks and scenic views of the Los Angeles Harbor. Number 2. Marine Corps Air Station El Toro Marine Corps Air Station El Toro, located in Orange County, California, was a major United States Marine Corps Air Station for nearly 56 years. Opened in 1943, during World War II, it was initially constructed as a base for marine aviation training and operations on the West Coast. The air station played a significant role during World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and the Gulf War, serving as a key facility for marine aviation units. It was primarily used for the training and organization of marine air units before they were deployed overseas. El Toro's strategic location made it an essential part of the military's aviation operations in the Pacific. El Toro was known for hosting a variety of aircraft including fighters, bombers, and transport planes. Its runways accommodated some of the largest aircraft in the military inventory, and its hangars and support facilities were integral to the operation and maintenance of these fleets. As military needs and strategies evolved, the role of El Toro changed. In the 1990s, decisions were made to realign and close certain military bases as part of a broader restructuring of the U.S. military. El Toro was identified for closure, and its operations gradually wound down. The air station officially closed in 1999, and the land was repurposed for civilian use. The site of the former El Toro is now home to the Orange County Great Park, a large urban park that includes sports fields, cultural and recreational amenities, and open space. Number 3. Mather Air Force Base, Sacramento County Established in 1918 as Mather Field, it was named after 2nd Lieutenant Carl Spencer Mather, an Army pilot who died in a mid-air collision during World War I. Initially, Mather Field served as a training base for pilots during World War I. After the war, it was briefly closed but reopened in the 1930s as a training school for bombardiers and navigators. This role expanded significantly during World War II with Mather becoming one of the largest training bases for bomber crews in the United States. In the post-war years, Mather Air Force Base continued to evolve and serve various roles in the Air Force's strategic operations. It became an important site for navigator training, and later, during the Cold War, played a role in strategic reconnaissance and intelligence gathering. The base also hosted various units equipped with long-range bombers and tanker aircraft. Despite its long history and contributions to military training and operations, 
Mather Air Force Base was identified for closure in the 1990s as part of the base realignment and closure process, which aimed to reduce military spending and optimize the use of remaining facilities. The base officially closed in 1993, and the property was subsequently redeveloped for civilian use. The site has since been transformed into a thriving community area, including the Mather Business Park, a residential area, and the Mather Airport, a public airport that serves cargo, corporate, and general aviation needs. Number 4. Tustin Marine Corps Air Station, Orange County. Established during World War II, it was originally called Santa Ana Naval Air Station and later renamed in honor of the nearby city of Tustin. The air station was initially built for lighter-than-air operations, primarily involving blimps used for anti-submarine warfare and surveillance along the Pacific coast. The two iconic blimp hangars at the base, among the largest wooden structures ever built, are notable landmarks of this era. After World War II, the base transitioned to heavier-than-air operations, supporting Marine Corps aviation units. During the Korean and Vietnam Wars, Tustin played a critical role as a training and staging area for Marine aviation units. The base was equipped to handle a variety of aircraft, including helicopters and fixed-wing planes, making it an essential part of Marine Corps aviation operations on the West Coast. In the post-Cold War era, as part of the base realignment and closure process, Tustin was identified for closure due to shifts in military needs and budget considerations. The base was officially decommissioned in the late 1990s. Following its closure, the land was repurposed for civilian use. Part of the site has been developed into residential and commercial areas, while other portions are used for public and recreational purposes. The iconic blimp hangars remain as historic structures, serving as reminders of the base's unique contribution to military aviation history. The redevelopment of the former air station reflects a blend of preserving historical heritage while meeting contemporary community needs. Number 5. Hunters Point Naval Shipyard, San Francisco. Established in 1941 on the site of a former commercial dry dock, the shipyard played a crucial role during World War II as a major shipbuilding, repair, and retrofit facility for the Pacific Fleet. During the war, Hunters Point was bustling with activity, repairing damaged ships and constructing new ones. The facility was equipped with dry docks, shipways, and an array of workshops essential for naval ship maintenance and construction. After World War II, the shipyard continued to operate, servicing a variety of naval vessels, including submarines. In the 1950s and 1960s, it became involved in the Navy's nuclear power program, refitting and maintaining nuclear-powered ships. Despite its importance to naval operations, Hunters Point Naval Shipyard faced challenges in the latter part of the 20th century. Environmental concerns, including contamination from various industrial activities, became a significant issue. Additionally, changes in military needs and budget constraints led to a re-evaluation of the shipyard's role. The shipyard was officially closed in 1974 as part of a broader downsizing of military facilities. Following its closure, the site has undergone a long process of environmental cleanup and remediation due to the legacy of industrial and radioactive contamination. Today, the Hunters Point area is undergoing redevelopment, transforming into a mixed-use urban area with residential, commercial, and recreational spaces. The redevelopment process aims to revitalize the area while addressing the environmental challenges left by its naval shipyard history. Number 6. Point Molate Naval Fuel Depot, Richmond. Established in the early 20th century, the depot played a significant role in supporting naval operations, particularly in the Pacific Theater, throughout its operational years. The primary function of Point Molate was to store and handle large quantities of fuel, including aviation gasoline and diesel fuel, for use by Navy ships and aircraft. The facility included numerous large storage tanks, pipelines, and docking facilities for fuel tankers. During World War II, Point Molate became increasingly important due to the high demand for fuel in military operations across the Pacific. After the war, the depot continued to serve as a key fueling station for the Navy, adapting to changes in fuel technology and storage methods. However, 
With the evolution of military logistics and changes in defense strategies, the need for such large, dedicated fuel depots decreased over time. In the 1990s, as part of the base realignment and closure process, the Point Molate Naval Fuel Depot was identified for closure. The closure was part of a broader effort to reduce military spending and consolidate operations. Since its decommissioning, the site of the former fuel depot has been the subject of various redevelopment plans. The Point Molate area offers scenic views of the San Francisco Bay and has potential for residential, commercial, and recreational development. However, the site's future use has been a topic of local debate, balancing the preservation of the area's natural and historical aspects with development interests. Number 7. Treasure Island, San Francisco. Treasure Island, situated in the San Francisco Bay, is a man-made island created in the 1930s for the 1939 Golden Gate International Exposition. Following its use for the World's Fair, the island was repurposed as a naval station. Naval Station Treasure Island, established in 1941, became an important facility for the United States Navy. During World War II, Treasure Island served as a major receiving and training station for the Pacific Fleet. It was a critical hub for coordinating naval operations in the Pacific, including personnel processing, training, and logistics. The island's strategic location in the San Francisco Bay made it ideal for these purposes. Post-World War II, the bays continued to operate, adapting to the changing needs of the Navy. It became known for its training schools, including those for electronics and radio communications, reflecting the evolving technological landscape of naval operations. However, like many military installations, Naval Station Treasure Island was affected by the base realignment and closure process in the 1990s. The naval station was officially closed in 1997, and control of the island was transferred to the city of San Francisco. Today, Treasure Island is undergoing a significant transformation. The island is being redeveloped into a residential and commercial area, with plans for housing, retail spaces, and recreational facilities. The redevelopment aims to create a new neighborhood with sustainable features, open spaces, and waterfront access. The transformation of Treasure Island from a World's Fair site to a naval station and now to a mixed-use development reflects its unique history and adaptability to changing times and purposes. Number 8. Long Beach Naval Hospital, Long Beach Established during World War II, the hospital was primarily designed to provide medical care and rehabilitation services to Navy personnel, particularly those returning from the Pacific Theater. During its operational years, the Long Beach Naval Hospital played a crucial role in treating injured and ill service members. It was equipped with a range of medical facilities and staffed by skilled medical professionals. The hospital provided a variety of services, including surgery, physical therapy, and long-term care, addressing the diverse medical needs of military personnel. The hospital was part of a larger military presence in the Long Beach area which included the Long Beach Naval Shipyard and the Long Beach Naval Station. These facilities collectively contributed to the region's strategic military importance, especially during World War II and the Cold War. However, in the post-Cold War era, changes in military strategy and budget constraints led to a reevaluation of military installations across the United States. The Long Beach Naval Hospital was identified for closure as part of the base realignment and closure process. The hospital was officially closed in the late 1990s, and the property was repurposed for civilian use. The closure of the Long Beach Naval Hospital was part of a broader trend of reducing military infrastructure and integrating former military sites into local communities for new uses. The site has since been transformed, reflecting both the changing needs of the military and the evolving landscape of the Long Beach area. Number 9. Long Beach Naval Base, Long Beach. Established in the 1940s, the base became an important part of the Navy's presence on the West Coast, especially during World War II and the Cold War. During World War II, the Long Beach Naval Base played a crucial role in the Pacific Theater, serving as a home port for numerous naval ships and as a center for ship repairs and maintenance. 
Its strategic location near the Los Angeles Harbor made it a key site for staging and supply operations. In the post-war years, the base continued to be an active military facility, adapting to the evolving needs of the Navy. It served as a home port for various naval vessels, including cruisers, destroyers, and later, nuclear-powered ships. The base provided support services for these ships, including maintenance, logistics, and training facilities. However, in the post-Cold War era, as part of the base realignment and closure process, the Long Beach Naval Base was identified for closure. The decision was influenced by factors such as changing military requirements, budget considerations, and the consolidation of naval operations. The base was officially closed in the late 1990s, leading to significant changes in the local area. The closure of the Long Beach Naval Base, along with the nearby Long Beach Naval Shipyard, marked the end of a significant era in Long Beach's military history. Since its closure, the area formerly occupied by the naval base has undergone redevelopment. The site has been transformed for civilian and commercial use, including maritime operations, commercial development, and public amenities. Number 10. Norton Air Force Base, San Bernardino. Norton Air Force Base, located in San Bernardino, California, was a significant United States Air Force installation with a history that spanned several decades. Established in the early 1940s, initially as a municipal airport, it was quickly transformed into a military facility during World War II. During the war, Norton Air Force Base served as a logistics and maintenance center, particularly for the overhaul and repair of aircraft. Its strategic location in California made it an important hub for air transport and supply operations in the Pacific Theater. Post-World War II, Norton AFB continued to play a key role in USAF operations. It became home to various military units, including those involved in logistics, strategic airlift, and support roles. The base was particularly known for hosting large transport aircraft, playing a critical role in military transport operations during the Cold War and in subsequent conflicts like the Vietnam War. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, the United States military underwent significant restructuring, leading to the closure of several bases under the base realignment and closure process. Norton AFB was identified for closure in this process, primarily due to budget cuts and strategic realignments. The base officially closed in 1994, marking the end of its military operations. Following its closure, the former base underwent redevelopment and was transformed into the San Bernardino International Airport and a commercial and industrial complex. This redevelopment aimed to repurpose the site for civilian use, fostering economic growth and development in the region. The transformation of Norton AFB is an example of how former military installations can be successfully integrated into local communities for new purposes. Make sure to check the first part of Abandoned Military Bases in California. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for tuning in, and see you next time for more Ghost Town Chronicles.